nine years later um, is that out here it's right there oh gotcha yeah gotcha that's our, our small right now we use it mostly as like almost like a pilot system we do a lot of one-offs with it a lot of times we will brew a beer on there that we've never brewed on a larger scale before mm -hmm. it's basically kind of feed a lot of the unique stuff that we have at the tasting room and uh, we use it to gauge ideas for batches, beers that we want to scale up in the future. If we, if we're more more experimental stuff that we want to try to dial in, we do like you know a lot of kettle sours, new IPAs, new combinations of hops, and mm -hmm. different ideas, stuff that we don't want to uh, go straight to like yep. a thirty barrel batch with. So we still have all the original equipment. There, we got a few small tanks that we use to uh, to to to, use, to ferment the beers on the small system, and then uh, we do uh, all of our main production on our 30 barrel brew house over here. Um, we've had it. We we've been brewing on this for about two years now, and kind of kind of changed our lives. We were, we were basically brewing like 24 hours a day, five days a week on our eight barrel brew house to keep our fermenters filled. And now we, that same amount of beer we make in 10 hours that we were making in uh, 24, 36 hours. Nice. So we have kind of ramped up some of our bourbon barrel aging. Um, I noticed that on the other side of the wall here. Yeah, right here. We got a lot of uh, bourbon barrels. A lot of um, a lot of them are wild turkey barrels, and then uh, Heaven Hill Distillery barrels. We have uh, four or five different beers aging in those. Anywhere from uh, a year, maybe a year and uh, three months to as young as uh, only three months old. How often do you guys well, so the, crack we're, those? We're still new to, uh, well, we've had bourbon barrel aging here in the past as on a really limited basis, but th this is a part of ramping it up for us. We're actually doing our first uh, bourbon barrel aged beer release 
uh, June 11th, or July 11th, sorry. Uh, and that'll be our uh, Missile Crisis Imperial Stout. So guys, this is Robert. He's the head brewer with Bootleggers Brewery out here in Fullerton, California. We are going to, you wanna go to the tasting room? Yeah. We're gonna head to the tasting room and try some beers. So, dude, thank you very much. Yeah. Thanks Appreciate it, man. Right. Thank you. So just around the corner from the brew house or the brewery is the tap room. We've made it down here. It looks like a cool little town, little apartment complexes. And the tap room is just beyond these businesses here. This one's far out. Yes. And that, that one's, one's a knuckle check. sandwich. Mike check. And, and that was the one he suggested. I whatever what he it was. Suggested. Yeah. So far, GC, whatever that is, is good. Mike check is good. Far out is good. Mm -hmm. 